The formularies for today's Mass are the same of Sunday of the third week in Advent, so it's the same readings from Gaudete Sunday. So in the epistle we read St. Paul's exhortation to all of us to rejoice, and in the Holy Gospel, according to St. John, we read of this dialogue between St. Uh, John the Baptist and those that were sent to question him from the Pharisees. And we are struck in the gospel by the humility of St. John because when he is asked if he is the Christ because many think that he is or if not the Christ and Elias, Elias having come back or one of the prophets, St. John is very clear in fact the evangelist uh, emphasizes what St. John has to say, makes it very clear that St. John was adamant in his denials. It says, he confessed and did not deny, he confessed, I am not the Christ. He made it absolutely clear who he wasn't. And he wasn't particularly eager uh, to talk about himself. They kept asking he, who he was, if he was Christ, no. Are you one of the prophets, no. Are you Elijah, no. It was only after they said, well then who are you then? Uh, we need to give an answer to those who sent us. Uh, speak for yourself, they say to him. And it's only then that he says who he is, but he defines himself in terms of his relationship to Christ, which is simply as an individual to announce his coming and to prepare people to receive him. So St. John places all of this uh, focus on our Lord and makes such an effort to keep the attention off himself and on the Lord who is about to come. And even his baptism, which became quite, uh, you know, kind of a sensation. A lot of people were being baptized and it was uh, raising a lot of questions in the minds of the Pharisees. Again, it was all about our Lord and about his coming, and it would all culminate with our Lord's baptism in the Jordan when this clear transition from the prophet who was to prepare his way and the identification of the Lamb of God by St. John and, of course, by God himself and the voice and the dove, that would make John's work complete and uh, turn everything over to the Lord. So as we approach Christmas, which uh, is a focal point in, our, in this season of uh, our attention as we try to put Christ back into Christmas, uh, we can uh, imbibe the humility of St. John and ask our Lord that we could be his instruments for bringing him into our families, into the lives of those around us who need our Lord more than anything else. We can ruminate on the spirit of Christmas and spirit of giving and generosity, but the real spirit, of course, is the presence of Christ and those who are his followers. Make him present in the same way that St. John did by emptying themselves of ego and focusing on the Lord and behaving apostolically in the same way. St. John the uh, Baptist is our example. We pray to him this day. And that kind of generosity, to conclude, that kind of self-forgetfulness is the real joy uh, of Christmas. It is what we should rejoice in as we heed the words of St. Paul, that uh, we should rejoice in the Lord always, that we should um, let our modesty be known to all men because the Lord is near and he is with us always.
Christus.